Hello and welcome to the course on getting to know the Brunei Darussalam Accounting Standards Rubidas 20 Properties Development Activities. My name is Fatin from Dynamic Technologies and I will be your vocal guide for today. Let's start by getting to know what BDAS 20 is all about. A property development entity may be one that carries out all aspects or the majority of property development activities in-house, for example, planning, design, and construction. In contrast, other property development entities may outsource many of these functions, in particular construction activities. Firstly, let's go through BDAS 20.1, which is to record land held for property development. Land held for property development should be classified as non-current asset where no development activities have been carried out. For example, Power Sandir and Berhad purchases a land held for property development at $100,000. Accounting entries for this vendor bill transaction will be debit the account for land held for property development with the amount of $100,000 and credit the cash or bank with the same amount. This is a vendor bill transaction. Click on the first module which is land held for property development under BDAS 20. You will be directed to a list view of vendor bill page. Click create on the top left side of the page and you will be displayed with a draft vendor bill. Fill in the necessary fields accordingly following the guided teardrop and the final draft entry will look like this. Moving on to BDES 20.2 is to record property development expenses. It is defined as costs associated with the acquisition of land include the purchase price of land, professional fees, stamp duties, commissions, conversion fees, and other relevant levies. For example, Power Sandir and Berhad incurred a pre-acquisition of costs associated with the acquisition of land include professional fees, stamp duties, commissions, conversion fees, and other relevant levies at $50,000. The accounting entries for this vendor bill transaction will be debit the account for property development expenses with the amount of $50,000 and credit the cash or bank with the same amount. This is a vendor bill transaction. This is how the entry will be represented in the Accounting Plus for Vendor Bill transaction. Next, under BDAS 20.3 is to record property development revenue. Property development revenue recognition recommences when all the following criteria are met. When the sale of the development unit is effected, upon the commencement of development and construction activities, and finally when the financial outcome of the development activities can be reliably estimated. For example, Power Sandir and Berhad is selling the completed two residential apartment at Kampong Beribi at $200,000 each. From here, we can extract the following. This is a customer invoice transaction where accounting entries will be credit the property development for the total amount of $400,000. This is how the entry is being drafted out in Accounting Plus under Customer Invoice Transaction. If you need more help, guidance, or a demo on how to get started, we will be more than pleased to assist you. You may contact us with the following details as shown. Thank you for watching the training video for BDAS 20 Properties Development Activities.